I'm Laura Laura and sorry I'm chesty again. Oh, mom. Literally, the house the whole house has been quiet for the past like three hours and I sit down. My hair, what is going on? I feel like I'm really overexposed, but it's because the sun is really bright today. Anyway, I thought that today we should do a let's chat about finishing A levels and how I really feel about massive change that's happened in my life. I mean, I've been in education for what the past 15 years, and now I can wake up and not have to think about homework, not have to think about what I'm going to wear to school, and everything like that. And it's so strange. I don't. I really don't know how to feel. Like my life is so different now. Like it is, but it's not. Like I still wake up and I still do my day, but like not having to think about these things is quite odd and I just had my prom, I'm filming the Monday after my prom and that was just weird knowing that I'm never gonna see like probably 95% of these people ever again which in some ways is good, in some ways I'm gonna miss people but I can probably count the people that I'm gonna stay in contact with on both of my hands and that's not because I hate them, it's just because I know like you have friends that you know you're going to stay in contact with and the ones that you are truly friends with and not ones that just because you sit next to them in your lesson and yeah I just, it is a scary feeling having no security now like I don't know what results I'm going to get, I don't know anything, I, I really don't know how my exams went they, I feel like they could have gone better, I feel like I didn't try hard enough, which is a really not a nice feeling, but it's my own fault at the end of the day, and I'm a big believer in what's meant to be will be. So if I'm meant to get into uni, I am, and if I'm not, I'm meant to have another year in Australia, so I don't know how to, how to feel about it all really, but I'm just going to enjoy my summer obviously, but it's just waiting for the 17th of August for results day, it's just a daunting feeling, because that decides the rest of my life really. I, <laughs> Her? Yeah, that's it is a scary concept because uni is a big game changer. Because um, obviously, if I go to uni, then there's three years of my life kind of sorted, and if I don't, then that's three years not sorted. <laughs> and God, I sound really <coughs> ill, don't I? I don't feel it. I just, I guess, I haven't spoken this much today. I'm sorry that my eyes are puffy. I'll try and wait until the afternoon, but it's probably because I'm tired and whatever else. But I'm just changing the subject because I don't like talking about the scary future. <laughs> A levels were very difficult, they were a very difficult thing. Nobody can prepare you for how you're gonna feel during your A levels and how like the step up is unbelievable from GCSE, but I mean everything is, I feel like the step up to university is gonna be difficult too, because obviously it's got to be. If it's gonna be the same as GCSEs, then what's the point in doing them? Your and your subject choices are very much, de they do depend, like, they, your your subject choices decide how you're going to be feeling for the next, like, two years. I wish I'd chosen slightly differently, I wish I hadn't done four essay subjects for AS and three for A2, um, simply because of variety. I mean, doing English Lit History and Politics is quite narrow. Um, okay, I went into year 12 thinking that I was going to be coming out and wanting to do an English Lit degree started English A level and was like nope never never want to do this I didn't even want to do two years of it but because I picked English literature and English language at AS I had to carry on with one at least one English so I was a bit screwed then really and yeah so I'm completely changed my mind and so glad I'm not going on with English I feel that was always I was predicted the lowest grade out of all my three subjects in English but it was actually one of my best exams <laughs> that the baby says something about my results. <laughs> I didn't do notes for this video because I wanted to really speak about how I'm truly feeling but I just, I don't know how I'm feeling. That's the thing, it's so, it's such a weird concept that I just don't have any routine anymore. Like, I feel like every person that's just finished school, finished A-levels or college, the main question they're gonna get is, so how do you feel now that you've finished? And nobody really knows how to answer because it is a scary concept. But yeah, I, I, I don't know where I was meant to be going with this video. But I just wanted to say that like, I'm feeling positive. I've got an amazing summer planned. I've got an amazing year planned. And, but it is just, it's a weird, very strange feeling to not, I think it's the homework as well. Knowing I'm never gonna have to do homework again. Well, obviously apart from, sorry, that's my toe that I just clicked. <laughs> Knowing that I'm never gonna have to do homework like that again is quite a nice feeling. And knowing I'm never gonna have to go back to my, sick form again is quite a nice feeling 
just because of my sick form. And yeah, I mean, I'm glad I'm finished. I'm glad I made it through the two years. I was thinking halfway through year 13, like, I don't want to carry on anymore. I don't want to do it. I'm, I'm really not happy with my subject choices. But the thing is, you've just got to stick with it. There's no point quitting, because what else would I do? I didn't know what else I wanted to do. I had no other plans. I didn't want to go to college. There's no, no college degrees that, what are they call college subjects that I want to do, other than the ones that I did at the end of the day. So I didn't know, I had nothing else to do. I was might as well have stuck with it, and I did. And I'm glad I did. And I'm glad that I finished and I managed to not properly have a mental breakdown because sometimes, I know it sounds ridiculous and over exaggerating, but sometimes it is really difficult to try and remain positive when all of these thoughts are going in your head. I know a lot of people that did struggle very much with your 12 and 13. It's hard to get your head around it, but I, I did have, I had a bit of a panic on the night before my last day of school but luckily I managed to get through my exams and I felt okay and I think that was the thing. I kept thinking to myself, I could either really stress myself out with these exams and feel ill and feel depressed or I could just do my best and I feel like I just did my best. I, I kind of did my best but I just didn't want to stress myself out about it because I was could have been susceptible to getting very ill mentally. So, And I don't mean that jokingly and I don't mean that in a you know everyone on YouTube says that they have anxiety kind of way but yeah and that's truly what I believed and I'm glad I stuck with it anyway thank you so much for watching I'm sorry this was kind of a bit of a ramble I just wanted to say my honest thoughts to you sorry that my hair looks like absolute crap today like what even is this <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching like comment share subscribe everything you always do I will see you next Tuesday at 6pm I've got the best couple of weeks I've got Amsterdam then I've got Morocco the week after so of course there's gonna be vlogs from them Come on! <laughs> I've got another vlog coming up about my spa day with my best friend Tilly. So I've got some really cool GoPro shots with that. So that will be coming soon, probably on an odd day rather than a Tuesday at 6pm. But it might be, it might be next Tuesday. Depends if I film a video in time. See you next Tuesday at 6pm. Bye!